Hello all, welcome to my channel 365 Blend Bytes. Today, we'll learn how to create stunning donut charts in Excel that will make your data come to life. Setting up data. Open Excel and navigate to your data sheet. List the five tasks as we did in this data sheet. Also list their completion percentages as well based on your project progress. Calculate the remaining percentage for each task by simply subtracting completion percentage from 100% which is equals 1 completed percentage. Drag the formula downwards to get the remaining percentage of other tasks. Utilize the fill without formatting option to seamlessly extend the formula while preserving the original cell format. Before creating the donut charts, We'll select the rectangle shape from the shapes option under the insert tab to create a background for the charts. We'll also utilize this shape to align the donut charts, a process I'll explain further as we proceed with making the donut charts. To enhance the vibrancy and visibility of the donut charts, we'll use a black background color, ensuring they stand out boldly. Insert a donut chart from the charts option located under the insert tab. Right-click on the chart and chose Select Data. Next, click Add. And leave the series name blank. In the Series Values field, type equals 1,125 times and then press OK. Using 1,1 repeated 25 times in the donut chart creates 25 segments, giving the chart a visually appealing look. Remove the chart title. And chart series to streamline the appearance of the donut chart. Single click on the donut chart, then use the fill color option to change its color to dark blue. While the donut chart is highlighted, go to the format option at the top or by right clicking on it. Then, navigate to the size option and set the height to 5 cm and the width also to 5 cm. Position the donut chart within the shape with a black background and adjust it to fit neatly within the frame. Duplicate the donut chart to represent other tasks and ensure it fits neatly within the frame. Click on the border of the first donut chart shape then choose the shape fill option as no fill. And also select no outline. Repeat the same process for remaining donuts charts. Right click on the first donut chart and choose select data. Then, click add button. Choose the first task as the series name. And select both completed. And remaining percentages of the first task in the series value option. Then press OK. Repeat the same process for remaining donuts. Once more. Right click on the first donut chart and choose. Change series chart type. Then, select the series name as secondary axis. This will overlap the series for better visualization. Click OK. Repeat the same steps for remaining donut charts. Double-click on the completed percentage section of the first donut chart. On the right side, choose the fill option and set it as solid fill. Keep the transparency at 35%. Repeat same steps for remaining donuts. Once again, double-click on the series to adjust fill and transparency for the incomplete portion. Choose the fill option from the right side and make it black in color. Again, set the transparency percentage to 35% for the incomplete portion. Repeat the same steps for remaining donuts. You can experiment with formatting options for each donut chart to enhance attractiveness. Highlighting colors of complete percentage. To make it move vibrant and enhancing its appearance. Place rectangle shapes in the center of the donut charts to represent their percentages. Keep the shape highlighted. Then go to the formula bar and select the completed percentage of the first task. Make sure the shape has no fill and choose white as the text color. Also, make the text bold for better visibility. Additionally, ensure that the text box has no outline. Repeat the same steps for other donut charts. Use rectangle shapes with rounded corners to display activity names under each donut chart, indicating which task they are representing. You can adjust the height and width of the shape from the shape size option under the shape format tab. 
depending on the size needed to fit your task text within the shape comfortably. Keep the shape highlighted, then go to the formula bar and choose the name of the first task. Align the text in the center and make the text bold. Keep it white for contrast against the background. Apply the round convex option in the bevel shape effects to give it a realistic look or you can choose the shape effect of your choice. You can also choose the color to match the donut to make it more cohesive. Repeat the same steps for other donut charts. If you're experiencing issues, where moving the background shape doesn't take along other shapes, you can fix this by selecting one shape and then highlighting all shapes, including the background shape, by pressing Ctrl plus A. Then, right-click and choose the group option. Now, all the shapes will move together. If we move the background shape, ensure the overall layout is visually appealing and easy to understand for viewers. For the background shape, apply the hard edge option in the bevel shape effects. Or you can choose the shape effect of your choice. You can also use the glow option from shape effects of your choice. Now, if we change any task name, it will display the change under each donut accordingly, maintaining consistency across all representations. Similarly, if we apply any changes to the percentage section, the donut chart will adjust accordingly along with the percentage text shown within the donut, ensuring accurate representation of the data. That wraps up our tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks.